All the world cries, where is the man who will save us? We want a man. Don't look so far for this man. You have him at hand. This man. It is you. It is I. It is each one of us. How to constitute oneself a man? Nothing harder if one knows not how to will it. Nothing easier if one wills it. Over the door of every profession, every occupation, ever calling, the world has a standing advertisement. Wanted a man. Wanted a man who will not lose his individuality in a crowd. A man who has the courage of his convictions, who is not afraid to say no, though all the world say yes. Wanted a man who, though he is dominated by a mighty purpose, will not permit one great faculty to dwarf, cripple, warp, or mutilate his manhood, who will not allow the overdevelopment of one faculty to stunt or paralyze his other faculties. Wanted, a man who is larger than his calling, who considers it a low estimate of his occupation to value it merely as a means of getting a living. Wanted, a man who sees self-development, education and culture, discipline and drill, character and manhood in his occupation. Wanted, a man of courage who is not a coward in any part of his nature. Wanted, a man who is well balanced, who is not cursed with some little defect of weakness which cripples his usefulness and neutralizes his powers. Wanted, a man who is symmetrical and not one-sided in his development, who has not sent all the energies of his being into one narrow specialty and allowed all the other branches of his life to wither and die. Wanted, a man who is broad, who does not take half views of things, a man who mixes common sense with his theories, who does not let a college education spoil him for practical everyday life, a man who prefers substance to show, and one who regards his good name as a priceless treasure. Wanted, a man who, no stunted aesthetic, is full of life and fire, but whose passions are trained to heed a strong will, the servant of a tender conscience, and who has learned to love all beauty, whether of nature or of art, to hate all vileness, and to respect others as himself. The world wants a man who is educated all over, whose nerves are brought to their acutest sensibility, whose brain is cultured, keen, incisive, broad, whose hands are deft, whose eyes are alert, sensitive, microscopic, whose heart is tender, magnanimous, true, the whole world is looking for such a man. Although there are millions out of employment, yet it is almost impossible to find just the right man in almost any department of life. And yet everywhere we see the advertisement, wanted a man. When Garfield as a boy was asked what he meant to be, he answered, first of all, I must make myself a man. If I do not succeed in that, I can succeed in nothing. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to our podcast this week. We'll be back next week with a whole lot more information for you. So until then, keep stacking. Send us an email at silvershieldpodcast at hush.com. I look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you next week.